Hello everyone and thank you for uh, checking out this channel. My name is Johnny and I appreciate you hanging out with the old man today. Um, as you know this channel is not about uh, how-to videos or anything like that but uh, basically just uh, hanging out and doing some different things here around the house that need to be done. Uh, here in South Carolina the temperature is starting to drop and the weather's getting more and more like fall conditions so you know what that means. It's time to get out into the yard and uh, do some work, some fall planting, getting some beds ready, mostly getting the bulbs uh, planted into the ground for like the uh, winter and also for spring, early spring bloomers. This is where all the magic happens. Basically this is uh, inside of a closet pantry that we have here and it's just like rows and rows and rows and rows of just all kinds of different variety of bulbs and uh, plants that we have that uh, you know I plant in my garden. Um, and here we have like the bulbs. Uh, in the garage I have a bunch of seeds and stuff like that. Some of those early bloomers like the crocus. We got different colors and different kinds here. I think we got some hydrants up here, different colors up here. Um, these are just pretty much bulbs left over from last year. Of course we got a lot of different tulips, different colors going on here. Uh, tulips, those are, those are, oh yeah, those are pretty right there. Um, this is a little bit of the unknown here. Uh, there's some lilies. Those can wait a little bit longer. Um, harlequins can wait. Dutch iris. Okay, this one here. We definitely need to get these. And the tulips and the hydras into the ground as well as some of the crocuses. Alright, so uh, let's get to it. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's already uh, had frost on the ground twice now, uh, so we got to put it in gear. Uh, we've got a lot of bulbs we got to get uh, ready and prepared for the winter months um, and uh, early spring. If we don't get on it real quick now, then we're just going to have to wait till next year, and we don't want to wait till next year. I want to have a beautiful garden, so uh, we're going to go ahead and plant some crocuses. Uh, we're going to plant some tulips and a couple other things uh, in buckets right now. Um, I, and the reason I'm doing that and not putting them in the ground right now is that I can control the environment a little bit better with frost cloth and with a little greenhouse, uh, like a hoop greenhouse, and keep things a little bit warmer. Or if, you know, like, you know, irises and, you know, daffodils and tulips, they love that cold weather. We're gonna keep them into the cold but control the environment a little bit better in pots um, and then hopefully have a better yield uh, when spring comes in or late winter early spring here in the south. Now the most important thing to probably uh, remember to do here and um, you'll hear a lot of other people talk about it too so I know it's important if everybody says to do it and that is a uh, Label your pots so you don't forget. Ah, here we go. These are just some little cheap labels I picked up and threw in here. But uh, you'll find out a lot of mine will also have like popsicle sticks. Uh, I love popsicles. And, uh, you know, what I do is just save the popsicle sticks. And from there, um, you can just write down the name of the plant. Because, um, you know, when you start getting like a lot of different plants and a lot of different varieties of plants, uh, you want to know what you have. So in this case here, you know, we have the dwarf, uh, you know, the Dutch iris dwarf Adelia. So uh, we're going to write that down here, and then uh, we'll remember what plants are there. All right, so don't forget to write down what the plants are. Very important. Again, I want to remind everybody that this is not a how-to video. But if you hang out with the old man and just... Uh, Kind of like pay attention to what's going on and give me a hand with it. You might just learn a little bit of something here. I've been told that I don't have just a green thumb, but I also got a green toe. Just so you can see what's going on, basically what we've done here is just into the bottom of the pot, um, you know, put a pretty good solid layer of, you know, um, potting soil. And what we're going to do now is just take like, you know, these, these here are uh, Dutch irises. They're really beautiful. Uh, this is a picture of it as you can see 
Uh, they just just beautiful little little flowers. I was really surprised how small, how tiny they are, how tiny they grow. But maybe about four inches, maybe six inches total. Uh, so you'll be surprised, and we'll follow the progress on these on a little while. But the uh, the goal is what you do is you plant these into the dirt. And you know you're about one two three you know deep um so uh, and that's what we're going to do right there is we're just going to plant those puppies right on in there so you can see what's going on and kind of spread them out a little bit but we're going to put them in pretty thick i remember one time my wife and i we were uh, i guess uh, walking down the, uh in, in in the yard or something um and this is when we were younger and i was telling her how i i, I could really uh grow a lot of plants and stuff and she was just like well, well how good are you and i told her i said well i could make a stick grow you got other videos that are out there and how to videos on how to grow these things um, i'm not going to get into that all uh all that today just i'm going to give you some basics here and then um, the main thing is just i've gotten behind uh, on my planting um so far and it's like the temperature's dropping so i got to get a move on it and start planting these plants all right, once again, putting them about three deep, okay, like three acorns deep into the soil. And then uh, putting them in there pretty kind of close together, but these bad boys will take off and then grow. And then once they get bigger and more established, like I was saying earlier, there you go. Can you see that okay? Once they get bigger and more established, then uh, we'll do is pull them out and then plant them, and, you know, uh, where we want them in the flower garden. And as you've seen from previous videos, we've got a lot of flower gardening getting ready to happen this next year. So we'll get things ready now and we'll go forward from there. All right, so there you go. We got it all written down now. What I do is, and you know, different people, you could do it, you know, different ways. Um, but what I do is I just put it in one. And when, and then here in a minute, you'll see when we stack them up outside, I just put them right in front of each other. And then that way there, I know that everything in the row is one and the same thing. And then I'll have several rows, you know, going across. But, you know, you could take and put, you know, a hundred different, you know, labels in every pot. But that's up to you. You do your thing, let me do my thing, and we'll keep right on going, okay? Alrighty. Next up we have the uh, crocus and saffron. You can see that they're already starting to get shoots on them just from sitting inside the, um, from uh, inside the, uh, pantry so uh let's go ahead same thing going on with here these are bulbs so you can plant them about three bulbs deep into the dirt and uh from that point um cover them up and then uh about the same as we did with the other so let's go ahead and get busy on this one plant them kind of close together but mix them up between uh new bulbs and you can see here little ones that uh these were the big ones, the main ones, I guess, you know, from the first round. And then they harvested little small ones. We call those bulbets, I guess. Um, I don't know. You call them whatever you want to, but little baby bulbs. So we're going to mix those up in here. Hopefully the small ones will get bigger. The big ones will bloom. And then we will go from there. All right, so you can see here we got a nice little cluster going on in there. And then uh, we'll cover those up with dirt. And then... Uh, Go ahead and wash, rinse, and repeat again. All right, and there we go. Got a little label here. Stick that in there so we know uh, what is in here. Now, I made some big ones for my garden, and I made a few couple little small ones to give away to friends and family members. Um, so uh, one thing to remember, I guess, you know, two things to remember on the bulbs. Plant the bulbs two to three, uh, you know, like a, a deep, you know, like the size of the bulb, one, two, three deep. And then the other one would be, um, don't let the bulbs touch each other inside the pot, nor do you want them to touch the sides. Um, we're, like I said, going into the uh, winter months coming up here real quick. Uh, here in South Carolina, we don't have to worry that much about freezing, freezing temperatures. So uh, most of the time, you know, things are good. What we're doing now is just getting them into some nutrients, getting some root growth, and as soon as they start popping up and getting close to bloom, then what we'll do is transfer them for the pots out into the actual garden itself. And then of course, you know, they'll start bursting, uh, you know, with a spring color. Um, so we're looking good. I think this crocus saffron, if I'm not mistaken, has a purple with a yellow flower. Um, so I'm looking forward to these bad boys popping up again. Uh, we'll show a little picture up above what I think they look like. Um, sometimes it's hard to remember which flower looks like what, um, but we'll go from there, okay? 
and we're just going to keep following up on it just like we did with the other crocus but we'll get these here to some soil we've got the pots all ready to go and we got some mixed crocus different colors uh, we got some big purple crocus now crocus does have different names to it like botanical names to it but uh, i believe in keeping things simple uh, so we're just going to have some mixed colors you know on the crocus uh, these are early spring bloomers late winter early spring bloomers uh, big purple it's exactly that it has some big purple flowers and um, I'll put some pictures up so that you guys can see what these things look like a little bit but uh, for the most part we got to get these things into some dirt and I uh, get them the root systems established and then um, uh, yeah uh, uh, protect them through the hard winter uh, but these here are all uh, cold winter plants that love it and then once spring comes around the warmer weather start coming out you'll see these things start popping up with some beautiful flowers and uh, we'll see some more of these here a little bit later on you know some people put them in their yard and they come up you know in the springtime when the grass is changing and coming over to green before they get that you know that first real mow in and um, we would like to do that that wouldn't be no problem one day but let's see if we could uh, harvest and get more crocuses of different colors and then eventually we'll do that in our our yard also now we've got some pretty good sized corns as you can see here and we got some little itty bitty baby ones so what we're going to do is we're just going to plant them in here all together and see what we can do to get a different variety but these small ones they need to grow they need to grow into big ones so we're going to plant them in here in a mixture of small medium and large and then hopefully what will happen is these bad boys are going to grow into bigger ones and then we'll have a really good yield for this next year. And as you can see, just sitting in a closet, like some of them are already starting to sprout out. So we need to get these things in some dirt and get some moisture on them and get them outside. All right, there you go. You can see inside there that we have all kinds of big ones and little ones. And from this point, we're just going to cover them up with a little bit of dirt. Keep it simple. And that's going to go right here into the pot. And we'll take these three pots and line them up so we know all three of these uh, have the crocus mix in it. All right, let's plant a couple more plants. Uh, next up, crocus big purple. So guess what? They're big purple crocus plants. Can't go wrong there. All right, everybody. Let's check on the ones we've already done and hey check it out we've already got like several sprouts coming up yes sir pansies got a late start on those i wish those were doing a little bit better but they are coming in and coming in strong which is good we got them in a sunny spot here in the backyard we'll put these little crocuses we just did today here with them and uh Give everything a good watering tonight. You can see things are starting to dry out a little bit. Don't want them to be too dry, but uh, we don't want them to be too wet either. In the winter months, when things start getting cold, I don't have to water as much now. We're here in our little greenhouse. You can see here on our greenhouse, I've got the link up above. We'll put this here together, and in here now we keep a uh, all of our pots and everything so what we're going to do is grab some pots and then plant these big purple crocus <laughs> into these pots and um and then put them next to these here and then that should take us pretty good until we do the uh like the uh i think we're going to be doing the uh, daffodils and then also we're going to do the uh not only just the daffodils but on also the uh tulips tulips are important they need to be out here in the cold and um in the ground and uh we don't need to get any warmth on them they need they need to get like close to freezing and staying down in a cold temperature as much as possible sometimes people put them in the refrigerators and make them think that it's cold uh winter came early this year i think we're going to have a nice good cold winter and that means like you know those cold nature bulbs they're going to come in strong all right, let's get started on these over here and get this wrapped up. Sun's already going down. We've got a little bit of daylight left. Man, we are behind the eight ball. Let's get on it. All right, just like the others, what we're going to do is grab these here and plant them down in there. Put a couple big ones in here. 
couple smaller ones, medium sized ones. These are some full size bulbs here, so. Alright, now we're gonna grab some small ones and then decorate them in there and let them bad boys grow a little bit. So that, uh. Alright, here's a. Something going on with this one here. Let's bring it back a little bit so you can see. Alright, one rule of thumb is if a bulb has any kind of like damage or fungus or something like that. You don't want to plant it. Just, just discard it. And you can see that one is hurting. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm going to throw it over here. And yes, the mulch pile. There we go. That grows, it grows, but I don't think it's going to. Let's grab some more and plant them in here. A couple little bulbs, a couple big bulbs. Here's another one that just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'd rather not. All right, into the... Mulch pile, you go. Alright, a couple more. A couple more. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, we need one more pot. Yeah, one more pot for those, and we'll go ahead and do that right now. Alright, there's the big one. Let's go ahead and pop these right on in there. All right, now we'll just cover everything up with soil. About three bulbs deep. And we'll give everything a watering. And oh yeah, can't forget that. Crocus, big purple. All right, so everything else in front of that one there, we know what it is. All right, basically what I'm doing is just putting a little sprinkle on them. I'm gonna water them pretty heavy. Um, with the weather change and everything that's going on, like as far as like uh, temperatures, I'm having a shift as far as like the watering cycles and what is too much and what is not enough. I usually have a pretty good like rule of thumb. You know, if the soil is damp, then you don't need to water it. If the soil is dry, of course you need to water it. Dealing with these little sprouts and these little uh, bulbs and all, this is a delicate time for them. A lot of things can go wrong. So the main thing is like uh, water regularly, but uh, don't overwater. Like I said the temperatures are starting to drop. We got in the low 30s last night, and um, I don't know, a lot of things can go wrong in cold temperature and watering. You don't have the waters enough. But uh, with this being in a sunny spot, one of the sunniest spots in the whole yard, uh, we want to be real, real, real careful about making sure they get enough water, but not too much water. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the old man today. You can see I got my coat on, so it's kind of cold out here. Uh, it's, it's the middle of December. You'd expect it to be cold. Um, so, yeah, the snapdragons are starting to drop down. We're going to go ahead and trim Trim those down a little bit and shape them a little bit. Some of them have already gone to seed. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah, we got a little bit of work to do in the garden. Um, but for now, I think we're going to wrap things up. I appreciate you hanging out with the old man today. And um, had a lot of fun planting flowers. Y'all know how much I love my flowers. Um, we had a lot of work to do. We had a lot of catching up to do. It took us a little while to get there. Uh, but with your help, um, you know, uh, we were able to get there. And... For that, the old man thanks you very, very much. Thank you again for watching these videos. Uh, if you like to comment, you know what to do. Uh, the comment. If you like the content, you know what to do. Um, and uh, if there's something that you'd like to see, uh, a certain kind of flower, or um, if there's something that you'd like to know about how to do something when it comes to like the flowers and the gardening and all like that, um, just you know, write the comments you know down below and, and let me know, and then I'll make a video on it. And, um, you know, we'll take you from the beginning to end and, and then make sure that, uh, that, you know, you too can have a beautiful garden and have flowers blooming all year long. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thank you again for tuning in to uh, Hanging Out with the Old Man. And uh, we will see you on the next video. 
Thank you very much for watching.